Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today I was at my other business, couldn't trade a lot. But when I got home, I saw AMC holding a line. So every time it came down, and I'll share my screen in a minute, but every time it came down to this level, the dip would get bought up. So when doing so, I'm going to go over my strategy of how I personally have been trading AMC and how it has worked very well for the volatility. And I'll get into that all in just a second. Before I do, if you would take that, not even two seconds, one second, just click the thumbs up for me. It helps the channel continue to grow. Um, it helps the channel get out there to everybody else to see a normal day trader, somebody that works full time, trades part time, is currently in the market though every single day. Um, and you know, while my gains are not huge, it's consistently profitable. I teach risk management. Um, and, you know, taking your profit when it's there and overall how to trade. And this strategy especially works well for smaller accounts. Now, if you have a small account, you can take these um, types of trades because, you know, I'm not taking huge amount of shares here. It's just the strategy. So if you could get the strategy dialed in, you can make your gains consistently. It's all about consistency. Um, and you might hear a lot of traders, uh, you know, telling you that they blow up accounts. I've blown up three ac accounts. I've blown up two accounts. You know, you don't have to blow an account up. The key to not blowing an account up is to not chase FOMO. That is the key. Your gains will come. Learn the strategy, get consistent, and the gains will continue to grow if you start to get frustrated. Listen, it's frustrating for me too, and I've been doing this a long time, seeing other traders making $75,000 in a day. Um, yet, you get FOMO, but you do realize you're not going to trade like that unless your strategy is there, your risk management is there. Some of these traders are doing that full time. I am not going to put that much risk on the line to make those huge, huge gains. Even though I'm consistently profitable, my limit, my risk is so tight, it prevents the upside, unfortunately. Um, eventually, I will increase share size and increase risk because it does take increased risk to make those bigger numbers. It is what it is. But the small gains, it adds up um, over a year, over two years, even over a few months. If you keep doing consistency, don't lose the patience and say, I'm going all in. You know, I want a huge winner because that's how you blow an account up, unfortunately. And, and I've seen it so many times. You hate to see it. So anyway, this is going to be how I trade AMC. It's not going to be, you know, a million dollars or YOLOing, you know, but it is a consistent, very good strategy that I highly recommend for uh, traders to follow. So as you can see here, I do technical um, analysis. Uh, this is the first time you're watching me. You'll know if it's not the first time watching me, you've heard me talk about this a million times, but that's what I like to do. I find that some things don't make sense fundamentally. So earnings could come out and they could be amazing and the stock could go down. I like technical analysis because nine times out of 10, the levels that I draw out, my trend lines, 
they're very well respected. And a lot of computers trade based on technicals, not just fundamentals. So I see when I get home, I get home around here in the afternoon and I saw AMC recover a little bit. So it sold off quite a bit from the open. $36 it hit and it sold all the way down to 24. That's over $12. On my quick math, that's like 30% in two hours. Very dangerous stuff to be trading. That's why I like to scalp. Scalping is just the strategy of getting in and getting out, trying to do that on like the same candle or very quick amount of time, maybe two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. I like to trade the same candle or the next one. So my entries have to be really good. As you can see, my two entries on AMC have something in common. They're right by this support line here. This trend line that I drew, that's where I wanted to take my trades from. Because the way that I trade is a risk management type of trading. The markets can be very dangerous. Um, and there's no reason why any new trader should be just throwing all their money into it if you don't know what you're doing. So if I could get in as close to the $27 uh, support, I could always set my stop loss just below the previous lows. So like right here, where I, when I took this trade off the 27, my stop was going to be just below these wicks that you see here, because I don't want to get wicked out. And that's why I only traded with 25 shares here after my first trade. So the key to trading is wait on these types of stocks, wait for the rip, the pullback, and then the rip again. This is what a, a bull flag is. So you get the rip up, you get the pullback, and then you get the rip again. And that's how I'm able to get a good entry and a good exit, basically right away. Trading like this is so much better. You don't have to be like sitting around just waiting for a trade to work out. You're scalping it. And right here, I did the same thing. Now, as you can see, this is a very good um, reason why I scalp these momentum stocks because right now it dropped all the way to almost a dollar under my entry. And once this um, support line is broken, guess what? Now it's resistance. That's the way these um, levels work, these support and um, resistance levels. Once it's support and it breaks, it becomes resistance. And this is a perfect example right here. So anyway, I got in close to the 27, 2702, very nice fill, and got out when I noticed right around here, we were not seeing the follow through. So I just quickly took the trade off. I didn't wait. Right here, I waited for 30 cents. Right here, I was very happy to get 17 cents. Um, and then it just, I would have got stopped out literally on the next candle. So that's why I like to scalp. This is my strategy for trading AMC. Find where it's support. Try to get in as close to support because your stop loss doesn't have to be far away. If you end up getting in and chasing these FOMO um, areas, your risk, I mean, it's just, you have to wait for a pullback. You get a little retracement and then you could play the bull flag. Um, so anyway, that's what happened here. This is a perfect bull flag setup taken um, very nicely, two for two on, on AMC. Like I said, I wasn't able to trade a lot today. Um, I took a trade on Apple earlier in the day that put me in the red 
but AMC took me out of the red and I ended up being up, you know, even $5 um, in profit because of this setup that I saw. Unfortunately, if you're not around the computer all day long, like I wasn't today, um, you really, it's a tougher time trading, which I don't usually like to, but trading part-time and running a business, it's just the way that it is. And that's why, you know, just my, what, what I could basically just try to uh, get out there to you guys is just manage your risk. That's all I want. I don't want to see any new traders blowing up any accounts because what we see here with AMC, it's actually incredible um, what's going on. I don't remember anything like this since really um, the year 2000, like 2000, 2001, the, do, the dot com, the tech bubble. That's the last time I remember seeing just that crazy FOMO. Um, and while it provides a lot of volatility for us day traders to make money on, unfortunately, when you make money, somebody else is losing money. Um, there's two sides to every uh, trade. So anyway, if you're new, just manage your risk and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the thumbs up for me, guys. And I hope everybody enjoys your Memorial Day weekend, um, wherever you are in the world enjoy it um, if you celebrate it. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see you back. It's going to be a very long weekend. Um, yeah, we'll see you back on Tuesday. Everybody enjoy. Take care.